Welcome to part two of uncomfortable truths that guitarists need to address right now. If you haven't watched part one, I advise that you go and watch that first. If not, here we go. Uncomfortable truth number two. You need a teacher. A human teacher with feelings and skin and all of that good stuff. No, an app doesn't count, and I don't care what level you are on that app because I don't believe it's a valid educational resource. At least, not one that can entirely replace a tutor. I'm sorry if you live in the middle of nowhere. You're going to have to try harder to find a human teacher, but you still need a human teacher. The unfortunate thing about guitar as an instrument is that it seems to attract a particularly arrogant kind of person. The same kind of arrogant person who'd write a five-part mini-series for YouTube about how much he resents the people that share his passion. I don't think he's talking about me. No. By some magic or coincidence of genetics, guitarists tend to believe that they don't need a teacher to improve. And that's exactly what apps are counting on. They're basically cashing in on your arrogance, which is clever to be honest. I spent a good few years slamming my face against my PC monitor, stalking guitar forums and watching YouTube tutorials before I actually got a one-on-one -on -one tutor. It turned my life around. That might sound like hyperbole, but it's not. An app or a game can tell you if you make a mistake, but a tutor is going to tell you why you made that mistake because they can actually see what you're doing and they know how you play and they know your background. It's kind of like a doctor. Sure, you can go online and diagnose yourself, but actually, if a doctor has your medical notes and can see you, they're probably gonna have a better idea of what's going on. An often undervalued aspect of having a music tutor is the career advice they can give you. If you play something like this, you're more likely to get a job as a guitarist. Even if you stop getting lessons with that tutor down the line because you've gotten really good and you don't you actually don't need a tutor that works in their favor because long term a tutor wants you to go and tell all of your music buddies how good of a tutor they were and then they get more business from that it's long term business planning an app or a game wants you to keep using the app or keep playing the game it doesn't necessarily want you to improve because it's a short term business plan it wants you to stay on their platform and keep watching adverts it doesn't frankly care about your career in the same way that a music tutor does music wouldn't have been a career option for me if i hadn't eventually received the music education i didn't know i needed get a human teacher i'll see you again in part three Thank you.